Um, well, it started, I had just like a big like enlargement on my neck and we really had no idea what it was. So we were looking at it and we went to the doctor. So we waited and it still didn't go away. So they took a biopsy and they ran some tests, came back. They're like, yep, it's cancer. I was just in shock, you know, because no one thinks it's going to happen to them until it does. And then you're just like, oh, like now I got to deal with this. So that was my reaction. My parents, um, they, they were really strong, but I know that they took a serious blow too, because you know, you, no one wants to see their child get cancer. So, but we've, we've all pulled through it. It's been, a, it's been a journey for all of us, really. All the doctors at Wake, they're all, they're all great. Like they are all super comforting. And uh, when I first started talking to Dr. Russell, he was really like, he had a really positive outlook. So after two rounds of chemo, I had more scans, another PET scan and a CT scan. And they said that it came back that I was already basically clear after two rounds. So that was rapid responder, which means that I didn't have to get any radiation. But since it was stage four, it's automatically high risk, which means that it has to be five rounds of chemo instead of four. Whenever I um, was first told about resilience, I was like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool. That's a, that's a good idea. I've had a lot of fun with it. And it's a, it's a really great team effort. My family always picks on me because every time we ever eat like any type of meat, I'm always just like, where's the barbecue sauce at? Like, why is it not on the table? Mom especially will get on me for it because she's like, well, at least just try it before you put the barbecue. No, barbecue sauce. You know, it would be kind of cool to rock some barbecue socks because all my socks are like black, white, they're kind of boring. So I was like, you know, something funny that, you know, people, it will get people's attention. It's a conversation starter. I'm just so proud to see you move on with life and start college. And for that reason, we'd like to ring the bell and uh, start the next phase of your life. Sweet. Let's ready? ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ring that bell. Nice and loud, man. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you dress so nice for the occasion. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Proud of you. Thank you very so much. Bad things are gonna happen to everyone regardless, so you gotta learn how to take those bad experiences and turn them into something that you can learn from and grow from.